you guys, we're in my bathroom. I look at my ass and get ready to go to bed. I just took like a nice steamy hot shower, cleaned my face and everything. And I was getting ready to moisturize my hair. And I said, let me try out what I got in the mail. Which is, if you see my Instagram, at Lexi Noir, I did change it up. So if you don't know, go check that out. Um, I showed you guys I got a box from Hot Girl Goods. And inside contained this beauty hair. Come on camera, do your thing. It is the Stella Williams hair oil. And I'm going to try it out tonight. She said she's using it on wet hair and dry hair. My hair doesn't have no plans on getting wet until I go get it done again. I don't do all that unless I really have to. But I'm going to try it on my dry hair. Because if you've watched any of my other videos, I had crochet hair before. A whole bunch of different colors. And I haven't done it in about two, three months. And I kind of want to have my edges fill back in. For when I used to have them grow out so long, it would pull my edges out. And I want to see how it would do. Like, your girl ain't bored on the edges or nothing like that. But, they're not as full as they used to be. <laughs> my phone's dying, so we gotta hurry this up. Um, I used it earlier in my daughter's hair. One of my daughter's hair. And she has the... Ooh, that smells good. She has... um. My kids are mixed, so she has more of the Spanish curly type hair, whereas, you know, me, I got, you know, my natural black girl hair, not natural, but, like, black girl hair, it's a little bit thicker than hers, hers is, like, really curly and naturally soft, but this made it softer, my daughter does not like it in her hair comb, but this definitely made it softer, and I was just like, let me try it in my hair tonight, so, I want to do a review on it, I'm probably going to do, like, a two-week, try it out for two weeks, and see, she didn't say, if she did it every day. Or I don't remember if not she did it every day. I think she might have. I gotta double check. But I'm gonna do about like two, maybe a month. Let's see where this picks up. This is day one. Today is February the 1st. I just uploaded my first video back. I hope you guys enjoy that for whatever you see this. But this is February 1st. And so we're gonna give this a try. It smells really good. Look at the bottle. Let me close it because I don't want to spill it. I'll show you guys the packaging first. This is so cute. The lighting is ridiculous. I'm going to put a picture in. Oh, no, no, no. Look at this. And she does this herself. And I just, like, in love with it. It smells amazing. It comes with a nice little dropper. And yeah, I don't want to spill it. I've never seen a curved dropper before. Maybe because, like, I probably don't buy, like, a lot of beauty products and stuff like that. Um, But I've never seen a curved dropper. I think that was awesome. It has this... It has this amazing smell to it. And I know we're getting, I haven't done it yet. We'll get, it, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But I'll tell you guys. So my daughter washed her hair and she's eight. So she washes her own hair now and she has a tendency to use a buttload of conditioner. And the conditioner smells very strong. So she came out that she smelled like conditioner. And I opened the box that came in earlier because I was telling a friend about it. And my man was sitting on the couch as well. And he was like, oh, I can smell it from here. And I was like, no, you guys smell the conditioner. Because that's all I had in my nose. And so as I'm doing my hair, there's like, no, we, I can smell it. So I was like, no, you're definitely smelling the conditioner. So I gave him um, the bottle to smell. And he was like, no, like I smell that from here. And I was like, are you serious? I only use two drops. And I'm going to show you guys what I call a drop because, you know, I'm extra. But I'm going to show you guys what I put in my daughter's hair. And they smelled. And it's very like a little bit goes a long way type of thing. So I squeeze the dropper and literally like that much is what I put in my daughter's hair. That's what I'm going to put in my hair. I did that twice. And that's because I did some in the front and I did some in the back. So smells amazing I'm gonna focus it on the front of my hairs but I'm gonna also like rub it in and don't laugh at me I don't do my hair a lot so if you feel like I'm doing this wrong <laughs> your hair just say if you feel like I'm doing this wrong don't judge me I don't do my hair very often and actually you know what? I think I want to do it three times because feeling at the top of my hair feels really good and my ends are kind of like dry so I want to see if I can fix up my ends too. Now this is what I did with my daughter's hair. I did the front half of her head. And I made sure I worked it in really good. And then I like to go in and do the back half too. My hair is naturally thick. And even though her hair is like nice and like curly, she does have thick hair too. And so I like to section it off. I'll show you guys again how much I used. So, so far as, oh 
Oh, man, it smells so good. I can't place the smell, though, but it definitely smells like it could be in a candle. Like, I would use this as, like, a relaxation candle. Use one hand at a time. Spread it out. Get on the nape. The back of that neck. It smells amazing. Ooh, I'm mixing it in. I can already see the difference in my hair, the moisturizing difference. You see how shiny my hair is now? But it doesn't give you that sticky shiny. I've never did a hair review, um, product review before. So this is like different from what you're used to, especially if you're used to reviewing products. I've never done one before, but guys, I had to like do a video on this. And this is like definitely not paid sponsor or not like that. Like I got it and I really wanted to try it out. It smells good. My hair smells good. I'm gonna comb through it real quick. I know they say when you comb your hair, you should start at the end. I don't do that. I don't. I just start at the top first. And get all back. Like I'm putting it in one go. And then scoop it to one side. And then so I can see what I'm doing, work my way through the ends. Like I said, you guys, I'm not a hair pro. I definitely don't do my hair a lot. You'll notice that my hair isn't out a lot because I have nice, beautiful hair and I want to keep it that way. And in order to do that is to not have me fooling around in it. And my hair just said, so you shouldn't do my hair for 16 years. <laughs> for 16 years, well, has it been 16 years? I'm like, what? She's been doing my hair since I was like 16, 17. And your girl will be 34 in March. Like I told you, we're in February. Your girl will be 34 in March. Wow, she's been doing my hair for about 16 years. And she know. I got three beautiful daughters. And it was definitely a punishment. Because I don't do hair. I don't do hair. And now my daughter, my oldest daughter is 12. And she's been going to the hairdresser, I think, for about two years now. Because her mama used to play with the boys and the football, not the girls and the dolls. Speaking of which, well, I'm calling my hair out. We're going to wrap this up real quick, though. But speaking of which, am I the only person? And I don't know if this goes for white people. I don't mean to be politically incorrect or anything like that, but that's how we're just going to talk about it right now. I don't know if this goes for white people, but am I the only black girl who noticed that growing up, I don't recall my mom or my grandmother or my auntie and them pulling me to the side showing me how to do hair. I don't recall that. Even when I think about like cooking and like what I cook and how I cook, I don't recall like being brought in the kitchen and being shown how to cook something. I know I've like been in the kitchen helping cut up stuff and like paying attention, but I don't think anybody has ever shown me how to do anything. You guys look at the difference. Look at the difference in my hair right now. I'm going to do one more dropper. And I'm going to focus it on my ends. Just because, like I said, like, because I get my hair relaxed, my problem area is my ends. And then it doesn't help that I don't get it relaxed on a regular basis. I go about three to four months max. In between relaxers so basically it's not, I almost like a touch up more than a relaxer at that point I think my roots touched up I thought about going natural but I don't know I like straight hair and I'm like, if you know you know like my hair is poofy like rough and tough with the afro puff like poof and so your girl I just can't and cause like, look at me, I, ugh, I don't mean to be conceited or nothing, but I, I think I just look better with straight hair. Tried curly hair for a little bit, didn't like it. Straight hair is where your girl's at. Colored hair, we tried her, we loved her for four years. We, I don't know what I'm going to do on my hair now. I don't. I have this little 
lace front that I've been toying with. But I ain't committed because I could pop her on and off. And I just ain't got time for it. So this is my hair. What 10 minutes in? But <laughs> made a 10 minute video about this. I can't believe it. But this is my hair. And I definitely want to see if it'll help strengthen my hair. Because like I said, I do have some brittle ends. And I want to grow my edges back. I do believe in brushing out my hair regularly. Just because it will nap up very easily. But I want to see what this is going to do. I'm already loving the difference because it's definitely like moisturized. Look at that, you guys. I was not looking like this when I started. So that is that. Um, I do know she was changing the site name. I think it's like Curve Hall or something like that. I'll, I will put the link down below for what this is. This is going to be Stella Hair, Hair Care. And I'm loving it. It's the Scalping Hair Strengthening Oil. I would say it's Jujuba. I can't figure out what that last name that last word is because I'm only good at with cursive when it comes to my own name but this is what it looks like you guys I'll put the link down below if you're interested in getting it I love it it smells good my scalp feels good fresh out of the shower right now I'm like having nice hair and as a matter of fact what I'll do is I'm going to put my hair up like I normally would for when I sleep and before I put this together I don't know if I want to do this all in one video or do it installment by installment but I am going to get up in the morning and show you guys what my hair looks like in the morning if it holds moisture because if you're anything like me I don't use grease or oils mostly in my hair because my hair sucks that shit up it just sucks it up and so it's kind of just like ugh, I all of this to get my hair moisturized and it's not given what it's supposed to be given six seven hours later it looks like it needs more i don't know i don't feel that way about this this feels like another oil that i put in my hair like a natural oil that i put in my hair and that's the other thing you guys the ingredients in here are very 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 natural for the most part what i can tell it's a lot of seed oils jujuba oil oh in, in. see this is why i'm about to look stupid on camera but I think it's emu oil, E M U oil, is what it says right here. So jujuba M U E M, sorry E U M oil. Oh my god! I need to go to bed. It is like eleven o'clock. I need to go to bed. But I'm definitely gonna put the link down below. Try it out for yourself. Let me show it to you guys one more time. My bathroom lighting is not helping. Try it out for yourself. It definitely smells amazing. It's two fluid ounces in this bottle, handcrafted in the USA. As it says, try it out, you guys. It smells good. Oh, I'm reading the back. It says section your hair into four parts, exposing the scalp. Apply a small amount of oil to scalp, massage oil with fingers and comb through to the end of hair, leave in, and style as desired. Daily use. Oh, I can use it daily. Apply a small amount to scalp and comb through. To the end i don't think i'll put two if i use it daily i am going to use daily, daily for like two weeks i don't think i'll do two every time i think i do i did two now just because like i said i haven't put anything in my hair since i got it done about two weeks ago and your girl was looking dry it's probably why she having a little bit of falling i oh, not a lot though thank god i'll be freaking out but a little bit of shining i think it's because she was dry i haven't done anything with it because i don't normally leave my hair out like i said i usually just restyle it i've had crochet for four years i've had crochet and so my hair has definitely as long much as it's been in the protective style has definitely taken a beating and so we're getting her back to being healthy on its own out naturally because it was a point where i could wear my own hair out for a long period of time and didn't have any of this fuzz going on your girl got white hair. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Like, girl, white hair. Anywho, I'm about to go to bed. I'm just rambling because I'm tired. I put out my first video today. I'm super excited. I think I'm going to put this out. I think I'm just going to do weekly updates and see how everything goes. I'm going to put this out soon. You guys are going to see it. Today is the first. And I don't know when I'm going to put it out. Good night. Good night. You guys, love you. See you later.